guys and welcome back to Electrofanks YouTube channel with myself James Benzie aka the Bearded Benzie. So as you can tell I am a little bit excited about this review because we are doing Steve's new flavours. So as this is the second take, let's see if Chris actually gets this one right this time and let's see if he can zoom in quick enough. So we're doing Steve Roseberry. We're doing Steve's new Shake Your Berry. And last but not least, Red Relish. So let's see if he zooms back out to me. And he did, look at that. He's on it, he's on it. So another test for him today is to make sure that I don't run on too long. So guys, I'm gonna, I like when I do a juice review to read you what they say on the label. And uh, the reason I like doing this is because then we can see what's in the juice. You know what it's meant to be. And then I can tell you whether I pick these flavors out. So I'm gonna start with Red Relish today. So their flavor description, are you ready for this guys? It is a ripe strawberry with a fresh apple on the inhale and adding a refreshing watermelon aftertaste making you relish each pull. Ooh, well in that case, let's have a go. Uh, FYI, uh, I'm using the Hydro Diamond Mini battery and the Loop RDA. For this particular assignment, I was going to have a quick chat about the steamed Vaco S1 quick kit that's been released, uh, but I'm going to leave that one because I'm going to do a full on special review on that one because that's one of our kits. So let's try this red relish. So just to recap, because I like catching uh, juice suppliers out on this one, so it's got a ripe strawberry and apple inhale, right? So are you ready? Do you know what I really wanted, even though it's how a juice line, I really wanted to find fault with that liquid because I don't like watermelon. And it's quite annoying when you get a juice that tastes bloody gorgeous. I'm a little bit upset with that, Steve, I thought you was gonna let me down with the watermelon there, but you haven't, you smashed it out of the park. And now I'm gonna have to go on Facebook and apologize to everyone that said I didn't like watermelon flavors because I bloody well like that one. So, you don't lie about that strawberry and apple inhale. That's one of the nicest strawberry and apple combos I've ever vaped. And I'm, again, I'm not just saying that because it's our brand, it's it, it's part of our group, I'm, I'm not. I will tell you exactly how it is, and I'm just gonna be completely honest. And I was apprehensive about this one because of the watermelon. So I was hoping to give him a ring in for the watermelon just because personally I don't like it. Uh, but I can't, so. I'm a little bit upset with that one. Not upset with them because they produced the thingy, but I'm a little bit upset because I thought it was coming upstairs to do this video, and I was like, ooh, I get to be a little bit mean because it's got watermelon in it and I can't. So that watermelon exhale, here's proper refreshing on that exhale. Um, and it does, it makes you relish each pulp. They've worded that one absolutely flawlessly. stuck out because I want you to rip that one. Whatever. Guys, I can't complain at that flavour. I'm going to have to read my words and I do apologise. So anyone that I have said I don't like watermelon because in that particular liquid it is on freaking point. So red relish and steeped, knocking it out of the park yet again. So we're going to move on to shake your berry. Now, Shake Your Berry is a mixture of one of my personal favourite steep liquids, which is Quick Shake, uh, which is a vanilla co cookie milkshake with a dash of fresh strawberries. However, they've changed it for this one, so this one's got a little bit extra. So this one is a sweet custard cream biscuit dipped in a creamy raspberry milkshake. Um, bear in mind, I am cheated on these last two liquids. I did try this one just as I rewicked before we did this video, just because I wanted to try it because I was waiting. The last bottle that's coming up, the Roseberry, I've nearly finished it. So this is Shake Your Berry. So let's see what this one's left. Chris is going five minutes, which means I'm just jabbing on about five minutes of red relish. Woohoo! Champione. 
I should get the Natura's Award for YouTube pointless videos. If you want to subscribe, by the way, just hit that link either above or below. I don't know how YouTube works, it's one of these two, so we'll just do some groovy hand movements for you. I got you. down to your local electrofag store, even the electrofag website, order yourself a bottle of that, you will not be disappointed. Holy shizballs! Wow! If anyone likes Quick Shake, that will blow it out of the water, hands down! Holy shiz! See how I did that there? I didn't actually swear. Planned on that one. Um, yeah, steep to go knocking on another quality flavour. Now, I am going to be a little bit biased towards this one because this next one, Roseberry. Um, I don't know whether Chris will be able to pick this up. Let's see if he can get this on the zoomed out quick. Chris, can you see the liquid level in there? If you can zoom in on it. So, that was, and he's going to have to zoom back in on my face now. Awesome time today, Chris. Thank you. See, one thing I want to point out as well, guys, I know a lot of people do their YouTube reviews and they've got professional edits and they do all their videos and they've got all this singing, dancing equipment. I've not. I don't want to do it like that. You get in pure us, pure unedited, unmessed with footage at all times. It's the only way that we like doing a review. And Chris is going, you've got three minutes, shut up. So this, this is how we do it, guys. We are who we are and we... We act like that whether it's on camera for you guys, whether it's on the shot, whether it's on our Facebook lives, whether it's on our Instagram, we are just who we are. I'm not gonna sit here and spend hours editing a video to make it look all sinking, all dancing. If it's rubbish, I'll tell you it's rubbish. If it's good, I'll tell you it's good. If I don't like it, I'll tell you I don't like it. It's just how it is. So we do 100% honest reviews. If you don't like them, that's, that's, that's your preference. I hope you like them because we're still doing them, so someone's got to be liking it. Anyway, so I've only got three minutes left, so let's hurry up. So this one is a mix of wild berries with a subtle floral bouquet accompanied with a cool menthol. Now this is huckleberry, rose water, menthol, and a little bit of blue raspberry just to change it up. But as you've seen, I have chinned this bottle already. Um, I'm actually using this in my iJoy wine kit which I will be doing a separate review on as well. So, I'm not even gonna tell you what I think of that one because that's the only one that I've literally caned a bottle of and a lot of people are gonna be sat there going, ah, oh, it's got rose water in it. Oh my God, try it. Literally try it. Come down to any local electro fag store and just come and try it. It's well worth trying, guys. You have to try it. So, yes, I haven't done this one on the dripper. I'll give you the sneak peek of my one kit. So, guys, as always, vape on, vape strong, and as always, 